A U.S. Air Marshal was taken to a Houston hospital for tests after he was stabbed with a syringe at an airport in Nigeria. The Air Marshal was flown to the U.S. after the incident Sunday. Jessica Willey reports. When the Air Marshal arrived at Bush Intercontinental Airport, he was met by FBI agents and health workers from the CDC. He had spent more than 13 hours on a plane from Lagos, Nigeria, among passengers, having been stuck by a syringe filled with a mystery substance. Syringe? Uh, what was in that syringe? It is what health workers are trying to figure out. Federal authorities want to know motive. The air marshal was with a team of marshals at the airport in Nigeria when someone stuck the back of his arm with the syringe. The attacker took off. The other air marshal secured the needle for testing, then boarded the Houston-bound plane at United Flight 143 with the victim. In a statement to Eyewitness News, an FBI spokeswoman told us, quote, the victim did not exhibit any signs of illness during the flight and was transported to a hospital upon landing for further testing. None of the testing conducted has indicated a danger to other passengers. Just days from the 13th anniversary of September 11th, the mystery substance raises concerns of chemical or biological warfare. It's scary thinking of something like that being here in the United States. And Professor Jordan Paust, an expert on terrorism and international law, says concerns are warranted. Why did this person uh, target um, U.S. Marshals? Did this person knowingly target U.S. Marshals? And was it for the intent of producing terror? Investigators say the air marshal didn't exchange words with the attacker before the incident. Authorities are looking into whether he was targeted because he's an American.